Used to be, if you were looking for a flagship Nokia Lumia device on an American carrier, you had to be with AT&T. Well, I got something in this bag here that'll make Verizon Wireless customers looking for a high-end Windows Phone 8 experience pretty happy. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Let's unbox the Nokia Lumia 928. Now, not to worry, everybody, we are going to get our hands on the Lumia 925 as well, but uh, we don't want to leave our Verizon followers out in the cold. And also, we've been dealing with the Lumia 920 as our flagship device for a very long time. It's going to be really great to get our hands on the new hotness from Nokia. Let's pop open the bag here. There's our box. Turn it on over here just to see. Wow, this looks an awful lot like the packaging for the uh, Samsung Ative Odyssey and also the uh, Lumia 822, which we just returned. Uh, that bright red Verizon branding there should be no surprise. It's just we haven't seen it in a while. Let's see what it says on the back. Okay, so right on the box, it tells us what to expect within a 928 with a wall charger, data cable, reference guide, product safety and warranty, and global support brochure. It's one thing you don't want to go without, global support brochure. We like those. As we actually get to the unboxing itself, we will uh, take the opportunity to remind you that this is the 928 is just basically a, a 920 that has been dressed up. Uh, you know, the form factor has been changed just a little bit for Verizon. Obviously, the Verizon wireless specific band adjustments. Uh, and we'll get to the other differences in a second. But at the same dual core Qualcomm S4 Snapdragon, uh, one gig of RAM, uh, 1280 by 768 resolution screen, and so on. But there is the device. We're going to go ahead and pop the device clear of its casing so we can see what's in the box and confirm that inventory on the back there. We'll just pop it in here. We have a Verizon Wireless Start Guide still in its shrink wrap, as well as a Nokia AC Charger US Style because it's a Verizon Wireless phone and the data cable. Nothing else in the packaging, as we were promised. We took a slight break just to get some serial numbers off the phone, but this is the Lumia 928. Our version here, white on the back. There's the 4G LTE branding down below. The uh, perforated holes for the speakerphone here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a tighter shot on that for you. Uh, very different in person. It's, it's quite smooth. You can feel it with your thumb tip, but it's not, uh, it's not quite as pronounced in person. Kind of difficult to describe. We thought we were going to be um, rather annoyed by that considering that the uh, 920 hides them down below, but you can tell it's the same styling. It's just been relocated, so that's kind of a nice surprise. Carl Zeiss Pure View branding on the camera bezel here, and of course that big old Xenon flash, one of the big changes between this and the Lumia 920. There's a uh, noise canceling mic, uh, I'm guessing. USB port has been moved up top. Interesting choice. Probably not going to be our favorite, but we will see. SIM card tray up top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, looks like another microphone up there, unless, yeah, I think that's what that is. Uh, of course, we're going to have a more detailed hardware look at this once we actually know what we're doing. Camera button, power standby, volume up and down. And let's see if we can go ahead and pry off the screen protector here. Beautiful, beautiful, untouched display under there. Now that display is also different than the one on the Lumia 920. That's another one of the changes made here from LCD to AMOLED. So we're expecting colors to pop as we power this sucker on. Batteries already in there, obviously. Uh, still, still a non-removable battery and still capable of wireless charging through the Qi wireless charging standard. Something we love to see. We were sad to see it taken off the Lumia 925. Very happy to see it's still present on the, uh, the Lumia 928. We saw the Verizon wireless splash screen. We also see, get another close shot of the branding up here. We see the Verizon branding in the upper right. Very large, very uh, pronounced compared to the AT&T branding, the more subtle AT&T branding on the Lumia 920. Not necessarily a, uh, a great thing, but something we have to deal with and probably a price that people looking for a high-end Lumia on Verizon wireless are more than willing to pay. So as we wait through the uh, through the boot cycle here, we'll talk a little bit about the heft of this unit. Unlike the 925, you can see there's no aluminum here. This is still all polycarbonate. The edges have been squared off, so it feels definitely feels different in the hand than the 920. And we will be having a comparison, by the way, between the 920 and the 928. But um, just right off the bat, we I do I do want to say that this is still quite hefty in the hand. I don't have a figure uh, right in front of me for the weight, but uh, we'll throw that in the description there. SIM card is missing, that's because we haven't put it in, and there we are. Welcome to your Windows phone. And yes, indeed, 
It will be my Windows phone for the next week or so, and stay tuned for our quick review. For now, this was unboxing the Nokia Lumia 928. Folks, we have a whole lot more on the Lumia 928 coming down the pipe, including our quick review next week. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, follow us on all our social feeds. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Leave us a comment if there's something we missed or if you have something to add. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.